Yo, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to another video, man. We got our brother right here. Oh, Gabriel Iglesias, you know what I'm saying? Cuban coffee almost killed me. I don't drink coffee. That's not true. I drink one specific type of coffee. This iced coffee from the gas station. That's it. Like, it ain't even coffee coffee. It's like a, like a icy type of car like like frozen type of thing i don't even know what to call it anyways that's it uh, i can't do it, it tastes terrible coffee tastes terrible to me i don't know how y'all do it anyways welcome back to the channel you know what i'm saying i'm ready to laugh man let's just hit the let's just play this video man if you new, hit the like button man hit the subscribe button oh my god thank you guys <laughs> you guys are all standing huh? no pressure no pressure mm -hmm. We're having fun, you guys. We are here coming to you from South Florida. <sighs> Heck yeah, man, really close. Uh, I gotta ask a question since we're here. I just wanna know, uh, how many Latinos in the crowd tonight? <laughs> now, notice I asked Latinos. I wasn't very specific. Because if you call a Latino the wrong one, there's an issue. You call a Mexican, a Salvadorian, we get mad. You call a Puerto Rican, a Dominican, they get mad. You call a Cuban, anything but a Cuban, you're gonna get stabbed. You know what's crazy though? I was thinking like, it's hard when you're not, when you're not in that realm or you're not around, or you're not around people from these type of countries or different type of countries like Japan and China and stuff like that. You don't, it's hard to tell to a person. Like when I went to, um, when I went to Singapore, I, it was hard for me to tell the difference between like the different Asian people when I first got there. But as I was there, I was able to like, not only see differences in like how they look but how they dress uh how they talk how they interact how they you know where they eat at how they just how they do things you know what i'm saying so uh it just takes experiences man it just takes experiences of being around different people man when you're growing up in a little cul sack and everybody's like you and everybody looks like you dress like you acts like you walks like you talks like you drinks eats like you and you go around some other people man you're gonna feel uncomfortable bro that's natural you're gonna be like is this person latino or is this person african like you you don't even know you know what i'm saying so like you know it's all about experiences man reach out man i don't even know where i don't even know where i was going with that so for everyone here and everyone at home, I have found a way to figure out who's who. It's very easy. All you have to do is listen to the way the person is speaking Spanish. You don't have to understand a single word, just listen to the flow, that'll let you know. Right, for thanks. example, Mexicans, when we speak Spanish, we sound high. <laughs> Seriously, you ask us a question, we drag it out. Hey bro, how's it going? Pues aquí no más, hombre. You know, Cubans, I found a Cuban. Yo, my Latino people, man, y'all let me know if this is true in the comments, man. Let me know, because I don't want to be out here doing this, and this ain't true. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Cubans, you guys speak Spanish like everything means something. It's very serious. You ask a Cuban a question, bro, where you going? Al baño, coño, carajo, why you want to know? <laughs> Just asking, dude. <laughs> it's like, why is he yelling? I don't know, I don't know. And I found out Puerto Ricans, you guys speak Spanish like there's a time limit. <laughs> Ask a question, hey bro, what's up? Oh, bro, el otro día estaba con Hitch, me estaba platicando que Chacha Benito, yo no sé lo que está pasando aquí, no más por allá. Dame más gasolina. Just. <laughs> fast. Bro, I don't know how he does that with his Even Mexicans were like, hey, write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. Another way <laughs> is the beverage. The beverage will let you know who you're dealing with. For example, a Mexican's preferred drink of choice is tequila. Okay? A Puerto Rican's preferred drink of choice is either Don Cu or Coquito, right? And a Cuban's preferred drink of choice is coffee. <laughs> now let me tell you how I know about this one. So a few years ago, so Martin and I were doing a show at the Improv in Miami, and after the show was over... I'll Has he ever brought Martin out? 
I've never I've heard so many stories with him and Martine and Martine and like I ain't never seen Martine, man. Is there a stand up where he brings Martine out? Let me know. I was talking to Martina, I said, hey, bro, I said, we got to try out some of this Cuban food everybody's been talking about. It's our first time here. And so we go outside to catch a cab. And when we got in the car, uh, I figured something out. And that is that uh, Cubans come in every color of the rainbow. <laughs> Cubans and Puerto Ricans, you go from really, really white all the way to freaking navy, black, just <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> Wesley Snipes, just dark, scooter. <laughs> El negro. Hardcore, you know what I mean? <laughs> He said, baby I didn't know black that there was such a thing as a black Cuban because we get in the car and we're speaking Spanish and this guy turns around and he's black and he's like, ¿Dónde quieren ir? Why you wanna go? I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> it freaked me out. I thought the partition was tinted. <laughs> I didn't know. So he's yelling at us, ¿Dónde quieren ir? I'm like, dude, uh, why is he yelling? <laughs> I said, listen, we, uh, we want to go somewhere to get some authentic Cuban food. Where can we go? And then he takes us to this place called Calle Ocho, which for everyone at home, Calle Ocho is uh, Spanish for 8th Street, and it's an area where, you know, it's very authentic. And um, he takes us to this restaurant called La Carreta, okay? So uh, you can't miss it. There's a restaurant on the corner with a giant wagon wheel in front of it and a huge rooster. I don't know what the rooster does, but look out for him. We walk inside, and I think, what was it, Martin? Like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning when we went in? Martin, Easy man? 3 in the morning. Easy 3 o'clock in the morning. That's freaking Martin. That's the Martin for all the stories. That's the Martin. Look at him. What the What the Martin? Oh, my God. And we sit down at this table and we're looking at the menu. We're trying to figure it out, and there's all kinds of bananas and all kinds of weird stuff. That I'm like, I didn't know that. Sir. Okay, bananas fine. Okay, let's do. It. How many of y'all was thinking like, dang, dang Martin? Because he popped up before and I didn't know who he was. Like Martin's right there, but he don't know. But he finna find out. Martin, like two or three o'clock in the morning when we want in. Okay, Easy Martin. three in the morning. Easy three o'clock in the morning. We sit down at this table and we're looking at the menu. We're trying to figure it out, and there's all kinds of bananas and all kinds of weird stuff. That I'm like, I didn't know that. Sir. Okay, bananas fine. Okay, let's do this. Um, <laughs> And here comes the waiter, and the waiter's coming over, and he gets in my face, and he's like, ¿Qué tú quieres? And I'm like, I forgot. <laughs> Why is he yelling? I don't know. <laughs> I said, listen, bro, I'll tell you what. Um, let me look at this menu a little bit longer. I think we need some time, right, Mar Yeah, we were like, yeah, we need some more time. And I says, uh, for right now, can I just get a coffee? And he's like, oh, OK, un cafecito. <laughs> and he walks into the kitchen. He comes back five minutes later, seriously, with a little coaster and a shot glass of coffee on the coaster. And he puts it down in front of me and he's like, okay. And I'm like, what is this? Es un cafecito. I go, dude, look at me. I'm not a ito, I'm a ande. And then I started thinking, maybe he knows who I am. I get the joke, bring the really big guy, the really little cup, you know what I mean? And I said, bro, what is it? I go, no, 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 no. I'll bring me a full-size cup of coffee. Take this back in the, I was frustrated. So the guy's like, okay, and what you want? Okay. So he grabs it, all pissed off, and then he goes in the kitchen and he starts talking trash to one of the cooks. He's like, Manolo. And then he comes back with a bowl of Cuban coffee, okay? <laughs> And he puts it down in front of me and he won't leave the table. He's like, okay. And I'm like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, I get it. He wants me to make sure this is what I want, you know, what I want, right? So I pick up the bowl and I take a little sip of it. And when the coffee hit my tongue, I was like, oh my God, this is the most concentrated coffee I've ever had. <laughs> it was really, really strong. And then it clicked. That's why they bring you a little shot glass of this stuff. So now I don't want to look stupid making him take a bowl of coffee back in the kitchen. So I picked it up to my face again and I drank the whole thing. Well done. I knew I messed up, bro. I knew I messed up because a waiter looked at me and he's like, vaya con Dios. <laughs> he goes back in the kitchen. He's like, Manolo, I'm not Ten minutes go by, you guys. I am so wired. That coffee is strong. That is the only way in the world Cubans can make that swim. <laughs> Yo, that was mad funny. I did not. I don't. I don't know Spanish. Just for y'all know, I I don't know Spanish, so I don't know. I didn't get the joke right here when he was like, uh, 
right before the nine one one. So we're gonna look this up real quick. We're gonna look this up real quick, man. Hang tight, hang tight. Hang tight. We're gonna look that up real quick. Oh, it's the name of a, a band. Who knew that? I swear I keep hearing stuff. All right, let's put it in here. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay, let me rewind it so I can listen to it. I knew I messed up because a waiter looked at me and he's like, Vaya con Dios. <laughs> <laughs> he goes back in the kitchen and he's like, Manolo, call 911. <laughs> Ten minutes go by, you guys. I am so wired. That coffee is strong. That is the only way in the world Cubans can make that swim. Yo, man, he never, he never, he never fails at making me laugh, bro. Man, shout out to Gabriel, man. It's Mr. Gabriel, man. Super funny, man. <sighs> I miss I miss watching comedy on this channel, man. We got to watch some more comedy, man, for sure. I'm going to watch some more comedy, man. Y'all, if y'all got any suggestions, man, hit the comment sections right now, man. If y'all, if y'all enjoyed this video like I did, man, hit the like button, brother. Hit the like button, man. Hit the subscribe button. Join the chill chat, man. We just chill over here. Laugh. Enjoy artistry on this, this platform of YouTube. And, you know what I'm saying? Just try to motivate each other. I don't know why I said it like that. Motivate each other to to be to be the best we can be, man. Y'all take care out there, man. Peace.